Okay, let's now do this link here. Bin shell should be a symbolic or hard link to bash. Now, if we look, this was a question asked in Linux questions. And you could read link dash F to see what it is. So bin shell should be a symbolic or hard link to bash. Let's see what it is. It goes to dash, D-A-S-H, not bash. Now, if... Um, We cd user bin ls. Let's go up and look. We got bash here. And we have dash here. So we need it to be to bash, not dash. So if you look down here, you want to remove the bin slash sh link. So rm, no. Let's copy this. I'll just write it, whatever. RM slash bin slash SH. Oh, pseudo. Pseudo RM slash bin slash sh okay so now if we read link Then we link, it goes to, uh, ln is link, dash s is symbolic. I have to pseudo everything here. Now if we read link, it goes to bash instead of dash. If you do M-A-N-L-N, you see it makes links between files, right? Make link between files. If you go down, dash S is make symbolic link instead of hard link. So you can see in the manual what the LN is. We did the RM command, and that's remove files or directories. Okay? So um, now let's run in the host system requirements, let's run this script again. 
pretty sure it's called a script. And we'll see if it works. Enter. Okay, um, look, goes to bash. I don't believe anything is missing here. Beautiful. And that, my friends, gets Ubuntu set up for um, Chapter 2, Section 2, Host System Requirements.